hello viewers and welcome back to my channel today i will show you how to create a beautiful combo chart like this a combo chart is the combination of two chart in one visualization here you will see both the column and line chart so let's create this type of combo chart here is the sample data you will find this data in the description i will put a link in below you can check it out so here is our uh, data information here we have the country list product sales price information manufacturing cost of good information unit of product sold and date let's say we want to create a chart where we want to uh, show the monthly information of total sales price manufacturing cost of good and also the unit of product sold in that corresponding month let's create that type of chart this is one kind of combo chart that is line and clustered column chart as i want to show the information monthly so from the date drag and drop this month information in the x axis and in the column y axis drag and drop the sales price information and manufacturing cost of good information now we have the monthly sales and manufacturing cost information and drag and drop this unit of product sold in the line y this is a kind of combo chart here we see three categories of information in one visualization and also we have different uh, unit here the sales price and manufacturing cost in million you can change uh, from the table uh, unit of product sold it's in thousand so you can also change display unit from here for this go to format your visual then the secondary y axis turn on this you will find the unit in thousand we can say that it helps to compare multiple major with different value range let's uh, beautify this combo chart a little bit more let's add marker on this line so for this go to here marker turn it on and change the shape let's say i, I am using this shape and increase a little bit more and change the color of this shape you can also change the sales price column color manufacturing cost of uh, goods column color from here in the spacing let's uh, adjust this column width from here inner padding now i think it looks quite good in the line you can also change this line from solid to dash and the stroke width let's uh, change this line a little bit more thicker from here now it looks good you can also strip this line like this or turn off uh, this change the line color from here okay, and the shade area you can also turn the shade area below this line just click on this and now if you if you want to change the this chart to line and stack column chart just select this one and click on this in my case i will keep this chart here uh, the sales and manufacturing cost information in million and the unit of product sold by month is in thousand let's say you want to show this information country wise so for this add a slicer here click on this slicer and uh, drag and drop this country list in the field now you have this uh, all the country list you can select this canada get the information of canada here if you select on the germany you will find the information of that corresponding country you can change it from list to drop down okay let's uh, beautify it a little bit more so for this select this one and go to format your visual in the slicer setting click on this horizontal now you have the horizontal country list you can select to find the corresponding country information here go to the format visual and the slicer header let's remove this slicer header turn off okay and 
then the values uh, convert this into bold convert the border into more black okay you can also increase the line width from here borderline width background from here you can also change the background color now it looks more beautiful i think okay you can also add select all information tab here before that select this chart a slicer and go to formative visual and then here go to the selection show select all option turn this on now you can select all to get all information and unselect all or if you want to find these two countries information then just click on control and click on Canada now you have the Canada and France information here to unselect this click on here okay, now it's unselect and go back to the initial stage I think you enjoyed this video you can subscribe to my channel for more tutorial like this so thanks for watching